Hi, welcome to lesson four in uh, my brief look at uh, tabla strokes and an introduction to making a sound on the drums. Now remember last time we had a new stroke which was called tun and was the open stroke. Very resonant and ringing like a bell. So we're just going to start a composition now using that stroke and the composition itself is called laggy. Now laggy like Kaida is also a theme and variation style of composition so there are lots of different sorts of laggies and lots of different sorts of Kaidas in various time signatures and time cycles. So this one again is in 4-4 uh, in four four or 16 beat time cycle called Tintal. So we're going to have a new theme and the theme is da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da tu na na and it will sound like this da ti da na da tu na na Da, ti, da, na, da, tun, na, na. Da, ti, da, na, da, tun, na, na. Da, ti, da, na, da, tun, na, na. Da, ti, da, na, da. Na na da ti da na da tun na na da ti da na da tun na na da ti da na da tun na na. So you'll notice in there that with the tun stroke, I was using the ke stroke at the same time. Now this is uh, very common that one will add the ke stroke to the open tun stroke, but it's optional. So if you didn't want to add the ke stroke, then that's fine. It ad actually, for me, adds a little bit of definition to a stroke that's quite resonant and, and, and bell-like. Now, so far, we only have the first part of this composition, the Tully section, which has the resonant open bass drum in it. Now we want to move on and we want to uh, have the whole of the theme, which includes the Tully section. Remember from, uh, from lesson three that uh, the Tully section uh, is the section that doesn't have the resonant bass drum in it. So the whole of the theme will sound like this. Da ti da na da tu na na ta ti da na da di na na. So now we have another syllable that we're going to have to explain. Now, din in this instance is the open tun stroke as we've already looked at, but with the get stroke together at the same time. Din. It's very common that when one goes towards the Kali section, one doesn't have the bass drum. So the bass drum is taken out leading to the Kali section and leading to the Tali section, the full section where there is the resonant bass drum, sometimes the bass drum will be present. And it kind of it essentially leads to a displacement of uh, the Kali section in that it will come in slightly earlier and finish slightly earlier. So here's Din with get and tun. The tun stroke is exactly the same um, with din as in tun. That was din and now tun. Exactly the same apart from the left hand. So here's the theme. Da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da di na na da ti da na 
da tu na na ta ti da na da di na na When we start to hear that played at that speed, we start to see the relationship between the laggy composition and a folk style of playing. Remember that laggy is a folk style theme and variation uh, composition. So let's move on to variation one. Da tu na na, da tu na na, da tu na na, da tu na na, da ti. Da na da tu na na ta ti da na da di na na ta tu na na ta tu na na ta tu na na ta tu na na da ti da na da tu na na ta ti da na da di na na Now you'll notice that with some of the care strokes I'm playing just with the first finger or in a slightly different way. Don't worry about that. You just play with the full care stroke with the open hand. It's just an, an affectation of, of once you've been playing for a while, sometimes you'll be you know, filling in in a slightly different way, in a way that you might do with, with grace notes as a drum set player or you know, in, uh, in, in different styles that you might bring in with the, with the drum set. So let's move on to variation two. This is comprised of three, 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 four, adding up to 16. The three is da tu na. and the four da da tuna and the whole thing will sound like this da tuna da tuna da tuna da tuna da da tuna da ti da na da tuna na da ti da na da di na na da tuna da tuna Ta tuna, ta tuna, ta ta tuna, ta ti da na, da tuna na, ta ti da na, da di na na.
da tunna, da tunna, da tunna, da da tunna. It's really good to be able to speak it, you know, at whatever speed uh, you, you finally get to play it. Da tunna, da tunna, da tunna, da tunna, da da tunna, da tunna, da tunna, da tunna, da tunna, da da tunna. So let's move on to the to the next example. So this is comprised of six six four. So instead of one two three 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 four, we have one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four, and the six is da ti da da tuna da ti da da tuna da ti da da tuna. Da da tu na da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da tu na na da ti ta ta tu na da ti ta ta tu na ta ta tu na da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da di na na. with a lot of the strokes that they're quite evenly balanced. Things aren't really singing out and, and are accented unless it's intentional. So the, the tun stroke sits in very nicely. It's very well balanced and it's not, which sounds, you know, we'd all agree it sounds pretty hideous. So it's all about making the sounds blend and be very musical uh, together. We're now going to move on to the final section of this laggy, and it's uh, a slightly longer tea high, uh, which is sometimes known as a chakrada, which kind of means full circle. Also means like a tea high of tea highs, which is you know a tea high of tea highs within the whole structure, and the whole composition will sound like this. Da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da Da ti da na da tu na na da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da da ti da na da tu na na da. So a couple of things to explain here. First of all, I'm clapping a time cycle, um, which is called Adital. It's actually a South Indian time cycle, um, and it's a good instant reference to be able to. Um, to, to be able to work these compositions out to. You could alternatively use a metronome uh, and just set it to an eight beat uh, click. So every, uh, every first beat of the eight is accented so you can clearly hear um, where everything is sitting in relationship to the composition. Um, the structure of this is slightly longer than um, some of the other stuff we're looking at. And also when you get a longer rhythmic composition, uh, a T high, uh, some of the fixed compositions that are like uh, little rhythmic paragraphs and, and various things like that, the, the Tully Cully uh, concept is kind of suspended in a sense in that everything just goes all the way across 
the bar lines and across the composition until you land on the first beat. Now a T-high, as I mentioned earlier, is a composition that's uh, a, a cadence that's repeated three times calculated so as to land on the first beat. And a chakradar is the same thing. It's almost like three, uh, you know, a big T-high uh, that's calculated over a long period of time calculated so as to end on the first beat. Now this is actually each section is, is 11, uh, 11 beats long. So if you add that up you've got 33. So when it's arrived on the, the 33rd note that is actually the downbeat of the, of the whole section. Actually if I speak it faster it will be easier to understand uh, the actual uh, structure of the composition so you can immediately see the shape uh, a lot easier when it's played uh, faster Again, the notation is downloadable, so it's going to probably be a wise idea to download the notation and look at the syllables. I've written it in a very clear and easy way to understand, so you can see how, uh, how the whole thing's put together. Uh, and it will sound like this. That's the one there, you've, you've ended on the one. Um, now, a lot of these kaidas and different compositions, uh, one learns and they, we learn to conclude them with, with a T high and a different, uh, different type of ending. So it's a very common practice and it's also a good, builds up a good uh, a deal of, of material that you can use um, when you know, playing and accompanying and, and developing solo material for yourself uh, later on. So we're going to finish off this lesson by looking at a couple of simple ways to, uh, to get some, uh, some grooves going, some very simple, uh, simple syllables using what we've already learnt. And uh, the syllables are da, t, ge, na. We've learnt all those syllables so far. And if we just put them together in a line, da ti na da ti na da ti na da ti na Notice the left hand, it's going three, one. da ti na da ti na So it's continually moving. So this is the first line of uh, example one of the patterns using da ti na in the notation. da ti na da ti da ti na da ti So now we're just going to off place it very slightly in the second half. Instead of dati gena, we'll start with the gena. So we'll have gena dati gena dati. Gena dati gena dati. So if we put those two together, we'll have this. Dati gena dati gena gena dati gena dati. Left hand is still three one 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 three one. Da ti ge na da ti ge na ge na da ti ge na da ti. Da ti ge na da ti ge na ge na da ti ge na da ti.
So these are quite useful uh, exercises. It builds your strength up and uh, can be a useful way to, to begin to uh, you know, get some different, uh, different rhythms happening. There are a few more variations uh, in, the, in the notes, the downloadable notes. Um, remember that the, the bass drum is going 3-1-3-1 throughout uh, that whole thing. I um, hope you enjoyed the lesson and I shall see you next time.